notice anything unusual about this track? And I feel the time's a waste to go. So where you go into tomorrow and I'll That's right. See Dean DeLeo's track has been magically removed by the wonder of AI. But don't worry, Dean still lives in there. Let me isolate his guitar track. Check this out. Now this is all made possible by an app called Moises, which is like noises, but with an M at the beginning of it. Now you can download this app for free and try it out yourself. There's a link in the description below. Please do and let me know what you think about it. Now this is a sponsored video. Moises reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to check out the app. I hadn't heard of it before, but there were a couple of use cases in there that I was really interested in. So I checked it out and it's become a really key piece of my workflow for doing YouTube videos and Instagram reels. Now the first scenario I use it in is for creating a guitarless backing track from the original track, okay? So I'm basically removing the guitar part and leaving the bass drums and vocals, and then I play over the top of it, right? So what you're hearing is just me playing with the original band, right? Which is pretty cool. Let me give you an example. So if I hit play, and now, no guitar. And I feel which is what you heard at the beginning, okay? Pretty cool, right? The second thing I use it for is isolating the guitar part. So if I get rid of the bass, the drums, and the vocals, and just slide up the, uh, the fourth option, right, which is guitar. You just get left with the guitar part, okay? Now, sticking with working guitar parts out, if I leave that running, there's another thing that you can do to aid working stuff out, right? Which is you can reduce the tempo, but you keep the pitch the same, okay? So if I hit play, hit the little metronome button, and then I can just slide this down. And if you hit reset, straight back to the original tempo, okay? Pretty cool. Now another thing you'll notice, if you look across the top, you'll see that there's chord detection applied, okay? So the AI will figure out what chords are being played at various stages of the song. So it gives you a really good starting point to go, ah, an F to an E flat, right? Check it out. So we've got E flat, F, E flat, F into the chorus, which is G. Really helpful. Now, another cool practice or even performance feature, really, is you can change the key that the track is in, right? So that will shift the pitch of it. So say you've got a tune that requires a capo, but you don't have a capo, then you can just use this button and you go into song key. And if I press play, you can hear it changing. Okay. And I feel so that's in G minor, right? Depends on the weather. Notch it up. So is it raining your bedroom? A minor. B flat minor. B minor. How high is it going? And there you go. You are now in a Chipmunk Stone Temple Pilots cover band. Pretty cool. So let me move over to my laptop and I'll give you a little run through on the web app. So how does it work? Well, you start by uploading a track. So pick a track, any track, grab it from you know your local hard drive, from iTunes, wherever, and you can just basically click upload, track separation, and then you can go from your files or you can use a URL link as well, right? So once you've got your track, you basically then get the option to decide how you want to split up the tracks, okay? Now in the free version, you'll get the option to go vocals, drums, bass, or other, right? Which a lot of the time is all you need because other will be guitar parts, right? I mean, if there are keyboards and backing vocals and that sort of stuff, then you need the premium version for that. 
because that gives you access to way more tracks that you can split out, okay? But for just checking it out, that is still, you know, really full functionality, to be honest. So once you've chosen the track separation, it basically uploads it, does its thing, and then you get this lovely, clean and intuitive interface with all of the tracks um, individually separated. And then you can have some fun with it. So if I remove the guitar part, which in this is other, and then hit play, All right, pretty straightforward stuff, isn't it? So here's me noodling along, and I'm not going to play the original part, so you can clearly hear that it's me playing, all right? That was a little run through of how you can use the Moises app or the web app to uh, remove guitars from an original uh, recording or create backing tracks so that you can practice or just to learn, play along with for fun or even to create content like I do. And as I say, it is free to download. So go and click the link below, go check it out and uh, give me some feedback on what you use it for. You may find some, some use cases in it that I haven't thought of yet, but it's just brilliant, brilliant fun for being able to play along with the original band as if you're a part of the band, which is just great. Thanks again to Moises for sponsoring this video, it really helps the channel out, and hopefully this little tool helps you out too. See you again soon, cheers.